Hi, I'm Matt Collins. I'd like to welcome you to Bob Weber Auto Mart on Douglas Avenue here in Racine across from Douglas Park. We specialize in one-year-old, low mileage, almost new cars. And if you'd like to stop by and see them or see them on our website, BobWeberAutomart.com, we can save you between five dollars and $10,000 on your next almost new car purchase. I'm Michael Burke and this is Money Talks. Hi, today we're with uh, commissioned acrylic painter Ron Horvath in his uh, Mount Pleasant home, surrounded by, I don't know, a hundred of your own paintings? Yeah, at, or least, at least a hundred. At least a hundred. <laughs> and um, I, I did a story on you ba back in August, as you're well aware, which kind of led to this show. And I don't even remember why we did the story in the first place, but I just know that somebody suggested it and oh, yeah. I, I found a treasure trove of really interesting paintings yeah. here. A lady ordered a portrait of her house and she liked it and then she ordered another portrait of two dogs. Mm. One had passed away for the neighbors for her. Mm -hmm. And then she liked the work so much she decided to call you because she thought nobody knew who I was. Yeah, yeah. And nobody did. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure about that but yeah. certainly uh, a lot of more yeah. people do now. Yeah. Um, you, let's, let's before we show a few of your uh, examples of your work, you started as a commercial artist. Uh, how did you get into that? Well, I didn't like where I was working in the factory and uh, at Jacobson's. Not that there's nothing wrong with working in the factory, but it didn't appeal mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And I told my dad I want to be an artist because I was always drawing and drawing and drawing. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine said, there's a looking for an artist at Case Company. So I went in there with a bunch of pencil drawings and they hired me. 60 bucks a week, they told me, and my dad said, you can't work for that. You make 120 at the factory. We need that to run the mink farm, mm -hmm. which I didn't like either. Right. <laughs> so, so I said, I went back, I can't work for that. And he said, well, we'll give you 65. I said, I'll take it. <laughs> my dad didn't like it, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, and then that that led to an entire career in commercial art, but you were also doing commission painting work on the, oh, at, sure. on the side, oh, yeah. right? Absolutely. Kind of yeah. the make ends meet yeah. and things Absolutely. like that. Absolutely, sure. Well, well, let's give a, a couple examples of some of the things. You have a lot of different themes that you enjoy. Does this fall into a, a particular well, theme for you? Yeah, I love motorcycles, and uh, especially Harley Davidson. And uh, this one is a 1942 when Harley went to war. And they must have made 10,000 of them mm. for the Army. And they loaded them down so much at times, you couldn't even see the rider. It was full of gear and, oh, I'm sure, and yeah. equipment and so on. Yeah. But it's such a nice uh, a thing that they did to have these beautiful motorcycles carrying around the countryside getting shot at. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I love motorcycles and I still... Was, I, was that from your imagination or from a photo? No, that was from a photo. Uh-huh. And I, I did some of, a uh, lot of uh, Indian motorcycles that I sold. They were very popular too, mm -hmm. and they're expensive motorcycles. Now, you also like cityscapes. Oh, absolutely. And this is really a nice one. What's going on in this one? Well, this is 1910 or 20 in uh, uh, Minnesota. Uh, St. Paul? St. Paul, Minnesota. And the funny part about this one was, I usually, nowadays people, you make a drawing by copying it and then tracing it. This one I drew by hand first, got nothing else to do, mm -hmm. and to see if I could still draw. It took forever, but the pencil drawing was as pretty as the painting before I mm -hmm. painted it. I loved mm -hmm. it. But were, so was this from a photo, and were those actual people in there, or no, did you I add, add them I later? added all the people. And, and that brings up a point. You often use your own imagination to, you work from photos by and large, right? right? Yeah. But you often use your imagination oh, sure, to sure. fill in Absolutely. other aspects. Sure, sure. Why don't you give that example about the, uh, the tennis match? Oh, okay. I was to the doctor where uh, my arm was swollen up, tennis elbow. <laughs> Not really, but we were talking, and he fixed me up. Very nice young doctor, and uh, he's from Sheboygan. And he said, uh, I like a painting. We talked about art. I said, What? He said, I like a tennis match. And I said, Oh boy. 
what, what can you do for a tennis match? He said, well, something like Wimbledon or something. I thought, oh, good grief. So then I came home, and it took me three days to figure out what to do. And I thought about kids, doing because he's got three daughters, I think, and they like to play tennis. So I made the little kids playing tennis, the four kids, and a dog with the ball jumped up with the ball in the middle. And the kids are trying to get the ball back. And it turned out beautiful. It was a <laughs> nice painting. He loves yeah. it. Nice story. Um, how long does, uh, I know you like this one, and um, uh, this is another commissioned painting? Uh, or, or not? Or no, you just no, work from a photo? Yeah, this, is, this one I did for an art show. Oh. And uh, because I just love the way these two children looked. Mm -hmm. They're so peaceful mm -hmm. and content. And, and they don't have the best lives in the world mm -hmm. down south. Yeah. And it looks so, they look so peaceful and yet needy. So I just love the way they look. Yeah, all dressed up for a yeah. Sunday, uh, Sunday, going to church right, yeah, or something yeah. like that. So that, uh, that I think this is showing that you often have a story in, in each painting of yours. Um, by the way, how long does it take you to paint something like this? this? One, it depends on... How lucky I get. I, you know, when I work on something, I run into problems all the time, like other guys do, but I sit there and I pray about it. Hmm. And I know that God is the best painter in the world, and he always comes up with the right idea, and it helps so much. And this one here took two weeks to do, uh -huh. and, even though it's, it's a very simple painting, but it took yeah. two weeks to do. Now, when you start on a, a painting, you, do you just stay with one painting at a time? You're never no, working on it? sometimes I have a couple. Two, oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Because I don't get bored. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, how much time do you spend painting in a week now that you're retired from the commercial art world? Well, I've been painting, I like, guess, six, seven hours a day, uh -huh. which is which is more than I should be doing because I get so tired out. Mm. And, and my wife gets mad at me. She says, you're working too hard. I says, this is fun. But she says, it's not fun when you get so tired. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know another thing you like are uh, sailing ships oh, yeah. and, and seascapes. And this is one that I really enjoy. It was hanging in your garage, which... Well, so it kind of seems like a shame to me well, <laughs> to have it hanging in the garage, but it's a, it's a really nice painting. I don't have much wall space anymore in the house. Yeah. But this, I always like sailing ships because when I was a youngster, I lived on the road over here, and I, a friend of mine still comes around. He's the same age as I am, but he lives out in California. Our dream was always to own a two-masted schooner mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Nick, I did it. I never did, but he did it. He sailed all around the world. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. He came here one day. I hadn't seen him in 20 years. With a big beard, like a sea captain, and he still sailing. <laughs> Did, um, what, and this was from a photo. Do you? What uh, was the time and place of that? Do you know? No, I don't. Yeah. I okay. Could. That's fine. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, another another uh, favorite topic of yours is trains. Absolutely. And we have one here, especially the steam engines. Okay. Because yeah, they have that big cloud of yeah, black smoke all the time. They smell good, and they sound different than their. The uh -huh. different, but they're more. They're got a soul, like a violin's got a soul, you know. Oh yeah. That that respect. And uh, when I was a little kid, and I was up at YMCA camp, I was eight years old. They took me. I was too young, but they took me anyway. And it was like nine dollars for the week. And I went up for there, the camp. Yeah. Wow. At uh, up there with Anakiji, and I so lonesome. I didn't have any fun except the night when I went to bed. All the other kids were crying because they were lonesome. I'd hear that old train uh, and boy, one more day to come, they could be home pretty soon. <laughs> oh, I just love the steam engine. <laughs> That's great. Um, now you also, uh, what, what do people request most when they come to you for a painting? Well, a lot, a lot of animals. Mm -hmm. Awful lot of animals people want painting. Their own pets, right? Yeah, mostly mm -hmm. their own pets and, and, and relatives that passed on and, and just portraits of their kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's fun. Makes to, sense. Yeah, it's it's fun to do that stuff. And if, if people have been so appreciative, when one lady was call, called me on the phone and she couldn't, she forgot where I was. She lost the newspaper article, so she called the Journal mm -hmm. Times, and they told her, and she called her, and she was in tears. And I, I couldn't understand. I said, "Please simmer down. I can't understand." I, what happened? She said, Somebody died. Well, it was her dog. Oh, and, and I could understand that because my dogs died, and I feel mm -hmm. the same way. Right, right. And uh, she said, "My husband and I will come over," and they did. And they wanted two pictures, two paintings of the same dog, one for her and one for her daughter. Oh yeah. And uh, the other day, they I call them up, and they're, they're down at a restaurant in Kenosha. And then she said, "Man, I heard it was you, Ron." I started crying. <laughs> anyway, she's such a tender-hearted person, and they all come here, and they all had tears in their eyes 
They loved the stuff. Mm -hmm. And they took it. Yeah. It was just wonderful. Now, you only work from photos. You don't, uh, if it's a person, you don't do uh, sittings. And uh, tell your little anecdote about the guy oh, oh, who yeah. he wanted <laughs> you quoted a, somebody. He wanted a portrait of his wife, and, and I told him 300 bucks. He says, well, when can she sit? And I said, then it's $600. <laughs> $600. So, yeah, he said, you can't. And I said, no. scared him off and yeah. I did my, the photo. I did my kids uh -huh. live. Oh. And my grandkids live. Okay. To them. Yeah. Uh, how do you decide what to charge? Uh, I... I, and what might be a well, price for? Uh, of course, it, it depends on the size it, of the painting. But yes. let's let's say a medium sized painting, uh, three four hundred bucks. Uh -huh. um, and how do you determine that? I just I just off the top of my head because you know I'm not a, a Rembrandt, but you can charge whatever you want. It's ridiculous. I could never do that. I would mm -hmm. sell nothing if I if I put a price on this what I wanted for, and a commission, I wouldn't be able to sell it. Nobody would be able to buy it because mm -hmm. I'm not. I have no name mm -hmm. as, as a as a great painter. But, uh, you also have a really interesting policy, which is um, if you don't like the painting, you don't have to pay for it. Yeah. How often has that ever happened? Never. Never happened. And it never even come close. Yeah. Well, one time it did. I had a problem. And I, a lady wanted a portrait of her dog. And I went out to see the dog and take a picture of it. And it bit me. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. And uh, she said, oh, this is a painting for my boy. And I'm thinking, a little boy. And... Uh, how old is he? He's 47. <laughs> so, but it was for him. And I painted the dog. It was a, it was a Springer Spaniel. And it was spotted mm -hmm. a lot. And she said, no, no, that dog is white. Uh -huh. I said, no, that dog isn't white. Look at your, your dog is white. I had to bring it back and paint whiter and whiter and whiter. It was almost a pure white dog. <laughs> and she was happy. So I, well, there you go. But it, it didn't make any money on that one, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, well, um, I guess... Oh, before we leave it, let's just show a couple examples. You've also painted on other surfaces. You want to grab? Yeah. These are, tell us what we're looking at here. Oyster jigs. Uh-huh. Yeah. That seems like it would be far more difficult to paint it's, on this kind of surface. not so bad. Not so bad? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, and they're very sturdy. This one's got a crack in it, unfortunately. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't know why, because I've dropped them already, and they're very sturdy. Yeah. They're blown out, and uh, these came from California, and I had some from Door County, mm -hmm. and... Uh, I, I get a hundred dollars a piece for them. Oh, that's it. And then they charge Door County. They had them up at the screen charity. You got one hundred seventy-five bucks a piece for them. Yeah. And I said they were only charged. I thought they were charging twenty uh, twenty-five percent commission, but they charged seventy-five dollars. So that's a lot more than twenty-five percent. Yeah, it is. But that was okay. Yeah. And by the way, this uh, this is sitting yeah. here just as an example of something you carved and painted. Yeah. You don't yeah. really carve anymore, though. Not no. anymore. No. No. <clears throat> yeah. Well, Ron Horvath of Mount Pleasant, thanks for being on Money Talks. Well, uh, anybody you. who would like to contact you about possible work, we'll, we'll put the number on the screen. Great. Uh, I'll try to keep you busy. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> thanks a lot. Yeah, and I thanks enjoyed it. to Thank our you producer, much. Greg yeah. Shaver. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Hi, I'm Matt Collins. I'd like to welcome you to Bob Weber Auto Mart on Douglas Avenue here in Racine, across from Douglas Park. We specialize in one-year-old, low-mileage, almost-new cars. And if you'd like to stop by and see them or see them on our website, BobWeberAutomart.com, we can save you between five and $10,000 on your next almost-new car purchase.